so this is uh, uh 24th of january 2020 2 49 p.m uh, yeah, this is, i should get a better camera oh camera is okay so yeah i went to give my blood test yesterday for my hormone check and I just uh, got a notification and apparently uh, my hormone levels are still pretty good uh, it was like about a thousand range and uh, it was you know apparently I should um, I don't need to get a new um, helmet now so, uh, so I think the level has to go under 400 or something. Uh, so I've got to. That's weird because I, I thought I lost. I mean, it's been it's lost it quite a bit. Yeah. So, okay, so, so I'll have to get another test done in about three months. So that was that. Um, mm, yeah, I gave the test yesterday. The blood test yesterday was so hot. Oh, today, yeah, look, uh, 43, yesterday the, the the humidity was like 30 and the temperature was like 36, but outside it was like 40 something apparently. It's still a bit warm today, but yeah, so that was uh, that, so that's good, so I didn't have to uh, worry about the hormones for a little bit. So I got a call a couple of days ago from uh, the Administrative Appeals Tribunal. When was that call? What's that? What day was it? I think it was, yeah. No, no, wait a minute. No, that's not right. I actually called. I don't know. A couple of days ago, I had a call. Yeah, how do you find out outgoing calls? Let's see. Anyway, so I talked with my case manager. And, uh, oh yeah, it might have been 20th of January. I don't know. I guess I'll get an outgoing call. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably the Monday. Mm. So I spoke with uh, my case manager for about... How long did I speak? Oh, eight minutes apparently, I think. Was it? Anyway, yeah, probably eight minutes. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, just, they're just telling me, uh, you know, because I've got a case conference on the 31st, next Friday. Oh, a week from now. Because today's Friday. Uh, so yeah, I'll be speaking to the National Disability Insurance Agency about my appeal. Uh, I've written quite a few letters to them. Maybe I, I, I'm still, I was, I started a letter like a while ago, almost last, at the end of last year, I think I started. But I haven't sent it yet because I haven't been working on it. And, I don't know, I've been very um, uh, procrastinating, but also kind of like tired of the whole appeal and I don't know just exhausted and you know it's also like kind of emotionally stressful having to work on that uh, letter and appeal and you know and uh yeah so that's that and i also have like an uh you know like i appealed for the, I, I applied for the disability support pension with centerlink and i was supposed to have a face-to-face uh, -face meeting for a job capacity assessment on the coming thursday but I submitted a complaint or if you told them, do I really, I mean, online I did, do I, I told them, you know, like last year, I think I said, because I was like, do I really, I, I submitted an online complaint in the complaint feedback section. And I said, you know, do I really need to go to this face to face? I mean, I've got anxiety and, you know, I have to drive to this place, which is kind of like, it's not very close. Uh, it's not that far, but I still have to drive there, and I was like, you know, do I really need to be there? And so, um, 
didn't I respond to that? So I, I sent, uh, I, I asked him for an update, update on that. I left a comment on my complaint. So someone called me. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. Maybe it was yes. I don't know. Maybe I think it was the day before yesterday. And then they told me, okay, so, you know, so that I can have a phone appointment. So instead of having to go there by myself, I mean, you know, my mom would probably come, but you know, instead of having to drive there, I can talk to them on the phone. So that was a, yeah, this is, I don't know what I'm going to gain by going there in person, because last time I went there in person, I don't know if I really need to be there. I mean, what, what do I really, what I asked, I asked them, what, do I have to be physically present? I mean, are they going to do some tests on me that require my physical presence? Otherwise, why do I need to, you know? To have a phone phone uh, appointment with them on uh, Thursday next. In the meantime, I've so, I've recently you know I've been sort of you know I got this um, you know this tool over here where you can like uh, put in hard disks and access them. So I've been <laughs> looking through all my old hard disks, and I I bought this container like this ugh, you know, it's like a big box where you can put hard disks in it. So I've been you know trying to do some backup and stuff and in the process of doing that you know I, I sort of got in, interested in this uh, computer data forensics uh, you know how like people go into the like they do analysis of computer data to figure out what's on the stuff you know like um, it's forensics and you know there are some tools online which allow you to do that so you go into the um, the raw sectors like the actual the raw numbers on the hard disk and try to figure out what this means and so instead of doing that uh, this is a program called autopsy it you know autopsy and it actually it's actually used by you know all these law enforcement government agencies it's actually a free program it's like uh, so which is really cool so I've been sort of playing around with that <laughs> because like, uh, you know, I want to, I want all of the data, like, because I have, I've, I haven't thrown my hard disks because I know that they, they, they that, you know, you, you shouldn't just throw away your hard disk, even your phone or anything because it, they, you know, they, even if you like, because um, it does, cut, even if you delete all the files, it, the data is still there. And, and I guess if you format your hard disk with complete zeros or whatever, uh, I don't know how easy it'll be to recover data from that. But anyway, so I'm mean, sort of uh, experimenting with that. Uh, the program's called Autopsy version 4.13.0. So there's a thing called. Uh, Wait a minute. What the f Fuck. Why the fuck isn't it working? Anyway, I think the, the computer just stopped uploading. It's a good thing that I actually am recording this file. Anyway, so maybe I'll just upload the file. Because I think it's just stop. So I'll, I'll <laughs> anyways. I've been playing around with that and, and nothing much. So I'll, I'll have to actually upload this file because I think the stream is gone. So I don't know why it just stop. It isn't, it's not working. It's not. It's not uploading. I'll have to end the stream. Uh, so anyway, so that's the update and whatnot here. Yeah.